my loves so today I am going to be doing a fairy loot unboxing this is the March box so if you're interested to see what's in this box please keep watching I am so scared of falling down I just won't climb in the first place I'm gonna sit more over this side so I can show you I'm gonna insert some videos of the items close up so you can actually see the items which is why I'm gonna sit at this side so you can see what I see and I'm just going to get into this box somehow oh I am awful I never take scissors when I need them oh, oh. I'm just gonna open it now and let's see what we have here so the first item is the artwork that comes along with the um, box and it's also a spoiler card so I won't be looking at this until I have seen. We also get lots of little wormy things. <laughs> the next thing is, oh, a Bear in the Nightingale ceramic mug. I love a mug. Ooh. I haven't read the Bear in the Nightingale. Oh wow, that's beautiful. But I have got it on my radar, so I will probably insert pictures if this doesn't look good while I'm editing, because I would like you to see what you get. The artwork on here is absolutely beautiful. And then it has the snowflake on the inside. I love a mug, so yeah, I like this. And it just gives me an excuse now to pick up the Bear and the Nightingale book. <laughs> Oh, we have a pair of socks. You know, right, okay, I used to, like, do you remember when you are younger and you used to moan when you got socks for a present? I love socks for a present now because for some strange reason, all of my good socks just disappear. Aww. So, this is Even the Darkest Stars. And it's an ankle sock design by Jez Hawk on Instagram, I believe and oh these are so cute i love these these will get added to my special sock collection so easily pleased oh i like this box there's a headband oh i want to wear this now it's like this headband print with like trees and like a little village and it's like this silky colour. Yeah, I'm totally gonna wear this at some point. Let me just think. Yep. Mm -hmm. This is my kind of box. I am liking this and I see a notebook and I'm a sucker for stationery. Oh, it's so pretty. A candle unused is nothing but wax and wick. I would rather light the flame, know it will go out, than sit forever in darkness. S. Joe Jones. So that's the quote on the back. And it has this beautiful rose foiled cover. I believe it's just, oh, it's plain paper. I wonder what fandom this is from because I have no idea but this this is really cute I am loving this box so like like this this teal color let me, this teal color right here is like my favorite color of all time so anything that's got like this blue or like this teal kind of color I absolutely love ah of the tarot cards i love these we have ace of wands right here and we have two of wands i love the artwork that they put on these my goal is to collect a whole seven eight tarot deck just of these cards because how beautiful would those like that collection would just be beautiful what else do we have oh I think this might be a pin. 
I love a pin. I put it all in my backpack. Oh, it's from Winterwood and it's a phone ring holder and it says be your own light. Oh, I love this. You know who would really love this? My sister. So my sister actually recommended um, the Hazelwood to me and that's why I originally read it. And she has read the sequel, I believe, and she would absolutely love this. Hmm. I might just be a good sister and gift this to her. And the next thing I believe... Oh, wow, okay. We have the book, but underneath the book we have this beautiful artwork. Wow, I love this. Okay, I love this. I need to know, I need to know who the artist of this is. Um, inspired by Spinning Silver by Naomi Novik, and it was created by Warwick Art. I will probably... I'll probably place that on the screen somewhere because this artwork is stunning. So if you want to check out the artwork, I will put the, the username down below so you can see that. And then lastly, we have the book. Oh, we have more artwork. Wow, okay. I love I love the artwork that just comes along with these like every single piece of this artwork has been beautiful in this box and then we have the book which is the bright and the pale ooh like I love it's just the aesthetic of this book with all the colors um this like really frozen theme I love it I love it so the book is, oh, it's got a signed, um, kind of like nameplate. Seventeen-year-old Valera is one of the only survivors of the freeze, a dark magical hold, not mountain unleashed on her village. Everyone, including her family, is trapped in an unbreakable sheet of ice. Ever since she's been on the run from Caesar, who is determined to imprison anyone who managed to escape. Valera finds refuge with the Thieves' Guild, doing odd jobs with her friends Alec and the, the only piece of home she has left. That is until he is brutally murdered. A year later, she discovered Alec is alive and being held against his will. To buy his freedom, she must lead a group of cutthroats and thieves on a perilous expedition to the very mountain that claimed her family. Only something sinister slumbers in the heart of Nott and it has waited years for release. Inspired by Russian folklore, Jessica Robinsky's is the name of the author. Epic fantasy debut is a thrilling page turner with romance, tragedy, magic, and monsters that will stay with you till the very end. Oh, I love it. And it's got this like kind of silvery edges that I absolutely love. Like, how do I? It's like silver. And then underneath the dust jacket. We have more beautiful art. I love this part. I love that. Yeah. Like, oh, wow, okay. You have a little engravement on the thing and the spine. Oh, this is just, this is my kind of box. I absolutely love this this uh, coordination of all the colors and the aesthetic is just really doing it for me okay so I am going to go back and I'm going to read the spoiler card this tells you where it's all from which is something that I like to know so the ceramic mug is inspired by the winter night trilogy very beautiful um Feature an artwork from Mono Lime Art, and I will put their tag down here so you can look it up if you'd like. The next one is the ring holder, inspired by Winterwood, and it is by Iron and Ink Designs. And I think I'm going to pass this along to my sister because she loves that series. The notebook is inspired. Oh. The notebook is inspired by Winter Song, 
and is designed and illustrated by Tariq Ja. And I will leave again the information on the bottom of the screen if you want to get. This is beautiful. I don't know what I'm going to use it for yet, but it's beautiful. Um, oh no. <laughs> okay, so the headband that I currently have on my head. So this headband is inspired by um, Something Dark and Holy by Emily A. Duncan and it is by Katrina Book Designs. Now, I haven't read anything by Emily Duncan before. I don't plan on it anymore, so that's fine. And if this had any kind of branding of the series, I probably would have gotten rid of it. But since this is literally just like a pattern that can be on its own, I think I am going to keep this. So I did know that there was going to be an item from the Emily Duncan series in this box and I didn't plan on keeping it. But since this can be passed off as not that fandom, I think that I might just keep it because if anyone asks, I don't need to say that it's from that fandom because it's not branded. I think I might just keep this um, and just say that it's not it's not associated with that series. I don't know. Okay, so the next one is the art card and I have already said that this is by Warwick Bart. Um, again, the name will be on screen so you can look into this yourself. The Tarot cards are the Ace and Two of Wands. And they are designed by Ars28. And again, it is inspired by the Winter Night, Winter Night Trilogy. So there are two Winter Night items in this box. So if there was any a time that I should pick up that book, it would probably be now. The last item is the book, of course. Um, and yeah, so that's all for this month's... Um, Oh, these socks. Did I did I say the socks? Um, the socks are inspired by even the darkest stars, and they feature a design by Jez Hawk. Yeah, I absolutely adore all of the artwork that I was given. Um, these will go proudly onto my shelves. These will go into my tarot collection, so I can finally get more of these. Um, the book sounds absolutely amazing and it is beautiful to boot. The notebook is absolutely stunning and I will put this to good use. The pen I am going to give to my sister. So that is that. And the mug will go into my cupboard. So I have a new beautiful mug and I might just go have a coffee because I start work in like three hours so maybe I'll use this for my coffee. The socks are just the most cute cute little things ever. I, I love socks so I will be keeping these <laughs> and the only item that I was iffy about was the headband which is inspired by Emily Duncan series um, but since it doesn't have the branding and I could pass this off as not part of any fandom, I think I'm still going to keep it. And that means that I'm going to keep everything apart from gift one thing away from this box. Yeah. I would say this was a win. And I liked pretty much everything that came in this box. So I think I would give it an 8 out of 10. Again, it would have been a 9 had this been a different fandom inspired item. I would probably have preferred it. Um... But yeah, I am so excited that I received my March box finally because it was late. Um, and comment down below if you like any of these items. What items would you keep and what items would you get rid of? And I hope you have a great day. Stay safe and I'll see you soon. Pack up my summer in a Ziploc bag Old maps and tchotchkes, photographs of this and that I'll write myself a letter so that I'll remember